Hello, brethren, Church of the Living God. I am sitting here with my wife, and um, we have an urgent prayer request for you of the Church of the Living God. An urgent prayer request. But first, turn in your authorized version of the scriptures to Psalm 103. Psalm 103, verses 1 on to verse 8. Follow me along. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfieth thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord executeth righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. James chapter 5. James chapter 5. Verses 13 Verses 13 on to verse 20. The close of is any among you afflicted? James 5, verses 13 on to the close of the chapter. Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing psalms. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church. Let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Confess your faults one to another, and pray one for another, that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Elias, Elijah, was a man subject to like passions as we are, and he prayed earnestly that it might not rain, and it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months. And he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain, and the earth brought forth her fruit. Brethren, if any of you do err from the truth, and one convert him, let him know that he which converteth the sinner from the error of his way shall save a soul from death, and shall hide a multitude of sins. Brethren, um, we, I, we have a prayer request on behalf of my wife. The love of my life. Of course, next, uh, you know, first is the Lord Jesus Christ. We are both saved, born again, converted, new creatures in Christ Jesus. What is happening is my wife's father had colon cancer. And my wife at the moment is experiencing three of the major signs of colon cancer. Um, she needs to go in for a colonoscopy. And the Lord, praise the Lord, gives us what we need to survive. But we don't, my, neither of us have insurance. And um, we need help, brethren. We need your prayers. Please pray for us. Please pray to the Lord for us, uh, for my wife. I don't want to lose her. I don't want to lose her like that. I don't want to lose my wife. Not like this. I don't think we have 10 years, brethren. I don't think we have it. Maybe, maybe five years. I want us to both be here to uh, be caught up. But please pray for us. 
uh, that the Lord will show us what to do and that he will provide a way to do it. We, uh, we don't want to go through the medical establishment like um, to uh, the Medicaid or whatnot. Um, we don't know what to do. And uh, to go have a colonoscopy outright is insane amount of money, which we do not have. Please pray for us. Please pray for us, brethren. Pray for my wife, Susan. She knows where she's going to go. She's scared. As I was when I faced death a while ago with my heart issue. And um, so please keep us in your prayers. Please pray for us. The Lord's will be done. Uh, that he will make a way and make it plain. And um, that he will provide for whatever is needful according to his will. Please pray. Okay? Oh, excuse me. Thank you uh, very much. Uh, we love you. Please, please keep us in your prayers. Please pray for my wife. Please pray. Thank you.